My girl is from Mindanao, but what happened was we ended up meeting in Cebu. The whole thing was supposed to be like 10 days, right? And uh, yeah, it's been four years now and two kids. So <laughs> that explains to you how good Filipino women are. Right. Definitely. That's amazing, man. Definitely glad to hear that. So like, what else do you like about living here in the Philippines? Oh, yeah. Outside of like your family life and stuff. Oh yeah, everything, man. I mean, gotcha. where do I begin? I mean, shucks. I mean, the, the, the people, the, the customs, the courtesies, of course, the food, you know, mm -hmm. um, and of course, I, I love the women because, you know, my woman is a Filipina, you know, yep. but I'm not even going to talk about that category because I got my woman and you got to understand, man, the Philippine, you know, mentality compared to the American or the Western world mentality is totally different, okay? This whole thing about it's funner in the Philippines. Well, it's funner because people don't really walk around with a chip on their shoulder for the most part, okay? Um, and, you know, they got way less money than a lot of places, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of places walk around with a chip on their shoulder. Sometimes I say like, you know, a lot of places in the Western world, they're rich in the pocket, but they're not rich in the heart. You know, the Philippines, the people are rich in the heart. You understand what I'm saying? Nice. They talk about Filipino people being friendly. I always heard that, you know, when I first came here, man, Filipinos are so friendly and all that stuff. I didn't know if it was true or not, because at first, when I first came here, it seemed as though Filipinos, like when they walked down the street, they looked kind of serious, especially when they looked at me. They just had this real serious look. And I would be asking Queenie, are they mad or something like that? But the minute, that you talk to one of these people out here, one of these Filipinos, you see them smile, their eyes light up, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, you, you see their spirit sparkle, you see it come out. Gotcha. Um, and I love that, you know what I'm saying? Then I realized really what it is, is they're, they're struggling and striving, they're handling their business, that's why their face is straight. They thinking about what they gotta do, how they gonna do it, they thinking about everything. But the minute you sit back and say, hey, what's up, como esta out, man? Oh shoot, what's up? You know what I'm saying? It's like boom, that whole demeanor change. I'm like, whoa, Filipino people are really friendly. I really appreciate that, man, because I come from a place where people are rough and pissed, okay? Because it's all about dog eat dog. You know, when you're talking about capitalist societies, like the, like the countries in the Western world, it's dog eat dog. And people will step over other people to get to where they want to be. That's the difference. Here, folks trying to help each other out. Here, you see three, four generations of family in the same house, because they gotta stick together. You know what I'm saying? And so they learn that, they learn that camaraderie. So I feel it, I, I see it, and I love that, the fact that they have that, man. Where we live at, Illigan City, it's got over like 20 something waterfalls. It might be more though, but I, I, I have to do my checking on that, but beautiful waterfalls, beautiful springs, okay, and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying the whole America is a concrete jungle, but where I grew up was a concrete jungle. Gotcha. Where I grew up, it wasn't no waterfalls and no springs. This stuff is amazing to me. And, and sometimes on the comments, it trips me out because people be saying, why, why, are, why are you so shocked by this? Why are you, if, if you go see where I grew up, you would know why I'm shocked. I didn't grow up around this type of beauty. And, and I just appreciate the culture too, it's very rich, uh, it's very layered, um, um, and I'm still peeling back layers of this deep, deep culture of the Philippines. And, and I know there's a lot more for me to you know, delve into, and I am. You guys, um, a lot of people see it in my shorts all the time. I'm talking about Filipino history, Filipino culture, because it's something that really genuinely interests me, you know? My children are half Filipino. I have to know this. What am I gonna tell them, right? Yeah, their mother can tell them whatever, whatever, but from my son, he wanna hear that his daddy know about both of his sides of his bloodline, that he knows about. Daddy can tell me about my black American side and daddy can tell me about my Filipino side because daddy studied. That's right. So I'm not just doing it for me. I'm doing it for the next generation. Regine gave me a beautiful, beautiful, great, and I, I shouldn't say beautiful, I'll say handsome. Son, he's two years old, Marshawn Xavier Badu Hashim. Okay, and he's, and he's strong, man. And then unexpectedly, because we kind of we kind of planned for Marshawn a little bit. We planned for Marshawn, right? 
But now, the second blessing came. My little daughter, Michaela Victoria. Huh? And that's all. That's my little precious. I always get on her, um, her mom. Don't yell at her, that's my princess. Don't, don't, don't you yell at princess. That, you know, that's my little baby, that's my little heart. One thing that I respect about my woman is that she supports my dreams, okay? If you're gonna be in a relationship with anybody, okay, you gotta make sure that you support each other's dreams. A lot of the problems I had with women back home is because they didn't support my dream. A, a man like me, I gotta have a woman who is inspired by leadership, you know, that doesn't feel insecure when her man wants to go above and beyond and be something even more than the average man wants to be. She gotta be like my woman, okay? She's the one that tells me, go out and film. Why are you sitting on the PlayStation? Go film, you gonna film today? And I'm like, oh shit, you're right, babe. You, let, me, let me brush myself off, get the microphone and, okay? She, she gets me going because it inspires her to see me motivating and being dedicated to something, right? So in the same token, she does that for me. So I try to support her dreams as well. Okay, her main dream is, you know, having an ukai ukai business. If, if, if a lot of these people um, that might not be from the Philippines don't know what ukai ukai is, that's basically a network of people who buy wholesale, like used and new clothes, okay, by the way, and they buy them by the bale, they buy them by bulk, okay, and then they sell it, you know, online or in little stores and stuff like that. And that's her dream, okay, and so guess what? Who am, who, who am I to try to stand away my mo, my woman's dream? If anything, I'm supposed to be supporting it and tell, tell her, baby, with anything that I gotta do, I'm gonna help you with your ukai ukai. And I did. I bought her, bought her her first bail. She ain't looked back since, okay? <laughs> she, making quarter, doing her thing, and got very good products, used and new. Matter of fact, um, we're gonna have to put the link to the Facebook where they sell the ukai ukai, we're gonna put it in the description. So everybody, hey listen, everybody in the Illigan area, hey, if you like ukai ukai, if your girlfriend likes ukai ukai, support my girl's business, it's Team Love Clothing, ukai ukai, new and used, dope stuff. So let's put that in the description, cause I'm talking all this stuff about supporting my woman, so yeah. That's awesome. Dean, appreciate you talking with me for a moment. For sure, man, for sure. Yep. Let them know where they can find you, dude. Oh, okay, so you can find me on all social media. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube is it's the same. Dean Hashim, guys. D-E-A-N space H-A-S-H-I-M. Dean Hashim. Um, and uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put that link down in here for the Ukai Ukai. Awesome. And yeah, um, that's my social media. Hit me up, guys. Awesome. Keep making those crazy YouTube shorts, man. We definitely enjoy them. <laughs> Yep, yep, we'll do, man. We'll do, man. All right, Dean. Cool.